Hi everyone, welcome to my Retrobat build series. This is part five. Hopefully, if you've been following up until now, you're kind of where we are here. And uh, you can see on screen at the moment, we've got several systems added. The last bunch we added were some Sega systems, which you can see here. Um, before that, we've got Atari, Final Burn, Neo, uh, and Amiga. Um, so today, we're gonna add some more systems. Um, but just before we get to that, um, yes, like I say, if you've been following the series, I'll see you up to where we are now. Hopefully you are following. Um, if you are, can you please, 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 please <laughs> subscribe. Um, really trying, I've got a target, I'm trying to set myself. It's really good trying to get those figures up, they're really good. And plus, let's say it's free for you, just hit the subscribe button, uh, and then you get notified as and when the next uh, video is released. I'm trying to do it every couple of days, which I'm, yeah, kind of managed to do at the moment, which is good, so I'm going to carry on with that. So today, uh, we're going to add a few more systems, about, what, another five odd systems? Uh, and this time it's Nintendo. So we did Sega last time, thought better do Nintendo. Um, so let me just minimize this for a minute, or let's see, uh, we'll exit out of here for a second. Get rid of this, and let's actually show you what we've got. So here's our Retrobat folder on the left hand side. Again, obviously, this is the same drill as before, so hopefully, I've wonder. Do you know what we're doing now? Adding ROMs. So here's a, the systems I've downloaded um, from the links in the description. Um, so yeah, we've got six systems. So we've got Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, N64, uh, the NES or Nintendo Entertainment System, and the SNES, which is the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. So yeah, six six systems. Add them in. So that should um, also increase the uh, increase the, the build again and the system count. So let's uh, let's crack on. So, same, like I said, same process as before. This is our Retrobat folder where we've been installing. Obviously, yours will be probably somewhere different. Um, within here, we've got the ROMs folder. And then in here, all the predefined folders for all the systems that are supported. So, we're simply one by one going to open up. So the first is the Game Boy. Um, so, you, so, you drag it across into some free space. Sometimes it can be hard to find some free space depending on what the view. So, if you change the view to, say, list. Scroll to the end. Give you a nice big chunk of free space, so you don't. Of course, you don't want to pick up a folder like this and accidentally drag it onto another one and end up putting it inside another folder. And then you have to, you know, unpick the mess. So just empty space. Password is the same as before. RB hyphen build with a capital R, capital B, and another B. And exclamation mark on the end. Here's the first one, and then we go up a level. Game Boy Advanced. Let's just scroll to the end again, select, drag it, and let it go. Ooh, same password, if I can type properly. Over. Again, as I mentioned before, while I'm doing this, <clears throat> I'm using 7-zip. This is the 7-zip file manager. Um, obviously, you can use your tool of choice. But I just did this works quite well for me. I've used it for quite, quite a few years now. Supports pretty much every every uh, compression format available, so it's good. And then also, like I say, in the uh, in the manager here, rather than having to close this, reopen another zip file, I can just go back up a level, find my next one. So we did Game Boy Advance, didn't we? Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, that was Game Boy Color. Now let's do the N64. I'm going to drag this across. Always that password. So uh, we're all sitting here now watching some files, extracting copy over, but I'll, like I said before, I, I want to do this in real time. I don't want to kind of like pause the video and you know come back and be like, yeah, yeah, it's all done. 
yeah, trust me, I did it. <laughs> I'll just, just show it all in real time so you can see see the process exactly and see, well, I guess on my machine how long it takes. I guess it differs on, uh, on different machines. Just, yeah, just so you can see the complete process. But as I said before, uh, when, when the way WinZip runs, no, sorry, 7-Zip, um, when you actually extract something by dragging it out like this, what it does is it'll extract it to a, a temporary folder first, and then it'll copy from that temporary folder into the final destination, which is why you see that first bit, and then you see that Windows file copy happen. Um, if you did a, if you select the folder and did extract or right click, uh, copy to, or, or something like that, then it does it, you know, directly from the zip file to the destination. It's just when you do that drag, it does the uh, the two step, but I mean, it might be a bit of pain if you if you've got. I've had it before where you've got particularly large zip files that you're extracting, you know, like several gigs, like tens of gigs, and also you need enough free space. You need, you need double the free space basically because you need enough room for it to extract to so the temporary folder, and then you need the space again for it to extract the temporary folder to the final destination. And once once it's finished, that those temporary files will go. But during the process, you effectively double, and you know, you may not have that if it's a particularly large. Uh, file extracting so but for these small ones yeah this is fine so that was NES and then we should be snares should be the last one and there we go <clears throat> So just checking here, and, you know, as usual, you've got all the games in that ROMs folder, uh, and then here you've got the the games list, which is it's an XML file, which for those that know, it's, it's like a um, it's um, it's a text file, but it's um, what they call a markup language. Um, so I'm sure I've shown this before, but it's basically so one game consists of of that there. So you've got these like tags, so you know game. We've got a unique, unique ID, the path to actually find the ROM file, the name of it to display in the list. So this is what um, uh, Emulation Station, which is the front end that Retrobrat uses, on kind of the graphical interface you see. It reads this file, so it knows to, it knows to, in the list of games, call it that. It knows that's where the actual ROM file exists when you click on it to launch it. Um, if you've got, um, this is how to sort it. So you know, if you've got a the on the end, you, they tend to take, you ignore that when you're, when you're sorting. There's a description which is kind of like you know who made it, what it's all about, how good was it, that kind of stuff. Uh, so you know, relating release date, so related rating and release date, developers, etc. What genre it is, all you know, all the kind of good stuff. And then all the it tells it exactly where to find all the images. So again, uh, we have images in here. So this is where you've got all the artwork already pre-scraped for you. So you can go into RetroBat and you can use the built-in scrapers, um, use some free accounts, and we'll cover that in a later video. You can go through and scrape everything yourself, but with this set, everything's included, ready to go. So that's all these kind of static images, but then also video snaps, which are kind of like roughly sort of, they tend to be between 20 and 30 seconds, around about 30 second mark gameplay of each game. Um, it's just a, you know, a nice addition, so when you're browsing through your list, you might be trying to find a new game or trying to find an old game that you can't quite remember what it's called. Yeah, see, seeing the video snap kind of helps you go, oh, yeah, I remember that game or that, look, that looks interesting. So, it's just, yeah, just, it's just nice to have it. So, anyway, enough rambling on. That should be them all copied across now. So, we're back to our Retrobat folder. Give this for a second and let's launch Retrobat. And fingers crossed, all going well. Let's drag that down again. We should. Right, so we've got, got the NES in here. So yeah, all the artwork on the left hand side in the wheel, all the logos, and then on the right hand side we've got the, uh, the box, you see in the bo bottom right hand corner there we've got the uh, box artwork, we've got the uh, logo which is the same as here, and also we've got the uh, video snaps which start playing after a few seconds. Uh, let's come back out of here. So that's, we should have six new systems. So that's, there's, then we go with the Game Boy. 
good old Game Boy. A whole bunch of games on here. Uh, Super Nintendo. I'm not quite sure why it's ordered in this order. <laughs> I'd expect all the Game Boy ones to be together if we're going al alphabetically, but. Pff. Anyway. So, again, you can see all the artwork. All looking lovely. So, that's our first three systems. And then we've got the N64. It's all like N64 games. And then the other two Game Boys Game Boy Color and Game Boy Advance. So, there you go. That's those new six, six systems added. Easy for me to say. Takes over 2,000 games now, so 2,133 games. So let's just try a couple just to make sure they all work and don't need an emulator. I'm expecting these ones all to use Retro Arch still. So let's just go through and. Uh... Felix the Cat, why not? Pick a random game. Yep, so retro arch loading. And there we go, Felix the Cat. So again another another customized bezel, specific bezel for this system. So let's just hit escape to come up here. Uh, let's go Game Boy. I think if we're going Game Boy, it's got to be Tetris really, isn't it? I don't, don't think I ever owned a Game Boy. I tend to be more the uh, more Sega side. Right. Let's try a bit of uh, the Tetris quickly. And there we go. Look at that. And quite you know a nice little bezel there as well. Of course, a lot of these these handheld systems have smaller screens, so the bezel has to be a bit bigger. And that's Tetris. Super Nintendo. Oh, that'll do. A bit of Donkey Kong. Donkey Kong Country. So again, we're using RetroArch. Custom bezel. All looking good. Yep. We'll take that as red. That's all going to work. Uh, N64. Five on the man, and again using retro arch. There we go, ball man. Probably running a, a probably a little bit slow there. But again, like I say, I'm, I'm running the emulation, so uh, the recording capture software. So, but there we go. We will just come out of there for a second. So that's good. But this is basically just proving that they, you know, they work out of the box. We don't need to add any additional emulators for these. They all work with RetroArch. As we get, you know, further down the line and put more modern systems, we will have to start looking at adding additional emulators, which obviously is what you, you do all through RetroArch itself. So. So we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Oh, let's just pick a random game. F1. Okay, another custom bezel. This is one of the nice things about Retro, but all this kind of stuff is kind of pre-configured for you. Um, it's, you know, where we added the ROMs, we've got that ROMs folder with all the, all the preset folders to show all the system it supports. The idea is you just pick up the games you've got for a particular system, put them in the right folder, and then it will do the rest for you. Yeah, I'm sure that's going to work. And lastly, Game Boy Advance. Yeah, where are we then? <clears throat> Uh, 
can go in again using Retro Arch, custom bezel, again Boy Plants. All looking good. Just see if we can skip forward to the uh, main game screen. Yeah, there we go. Lovely. Right. So as I say, that's that's them added. That's all working fine. Um, like I say, it takes over two thousand now. So the build's getting there. Getting there now. So how many systems have we actually got now? We've got what's that one? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Oh, we're 19. 19 systems, so we're getting there. There's a few, few more to go. Um, yeah, there we go. That, that's adding Nintendo, um, or the, certainly those systems there. Um, it's just like I say, hope, adding the games is quite straightforward. I think, obviously, if you're from the series, you'll, you'll probably, probably know now. <laughs> it's just a case of, uh, of grabbing the files, putting in the right place, and starting Retro Bat. Like I say, when we get further down the line, um, we'll probably have to look at adding some additional emulators. And again, that's, that's fairly straightforward. You do it all through here. Could actually be that main menu, and here's all the other, you know, additional, I guess, standalone emulators, sort of, you know, emulators that are not RetroArch, I guess, and not call them RetroArch. So um, there's a whole bunch in there you add, and we'll, we'll, we'll add them as we need them, um, but we don't need them at the moment. So yeah, I hope it was useful. Please, please like, please subscribe. The main thing is subscribe. I'm trying to, get, you know, I'm trying to hit my target. Um, so yeah, we really appreciate. It. If you subscribe, even if you're, you know, you're not really following the series, you're just jumping in to, to grab the games, basically, which, yeah, absolutely fine. But you know, as long as you should click the subscribe button when you when you do, then I'm happy. That's great. Um, I mean, there will be some people watching the series and you know watching the video through. Others probably, yeah, like I say, just coming in and just wanting to grab grab the games collections, I guess. So that's all good. As long as everyone subscribes, I'm happy. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, um, and stay tuned for the next one. I haven't decided what the next set will be. Um, so we've done Sega and Nintendo. There's obviously there's, there's a whole bunch more. So I'll uh, I'll have a look through and see what see what the next one will be. Um, and yeah, so stay tuned, and I'll catch you on the next one. Cheers.